continue. Hey, hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, hi. everyone. It is Wednesday again, and that means it's time for a new episode of the new Comic Book Day Rundown. Uh, I am Dustin. I'm the PR coordinator for Dark Horse Comics. And I'm Brennan. I'm a graphic designer for Dark Horse Comics. And we're here to break it all down for you today. So, as you can see, we've got a lot of exciting things on sale, um, particularly this guy. Um, we've also got some of this, too. So, um, stick with us. We've got a lot to go over, and it is all quite exciting. But before we do, I would like to remind you that if you would like to win all of the fantastic items that we discussed today, um, all you need to do is share this video to enter the contest to win. Uh, so just make sure that your share is set to public so that we are able to see it. Um, and yeah, our uh, lovely social media coordinator will get back to you by tomorrow a.m. to let you know if you are the lucky owner of all of this swag. Um, we had a couple of cool uh, cool things coming up as well, because um, you're going to be heading down to North Carolina. I am. Yeah. For North Carolina Comic Con, Bull City. That's our show. first time showing there, yep. which is going to be awesome. It'll be fun. And we're bringing down the Umbrella Academy crew, which means that Gerard Way and Gabriel Baugh are going to be there. Yeah. Remind me the dates on that again? November 9th? 7th? Well, I, we leave on the 7th, but we leave early, so it's like the, the 9th actual 12th, The actual convention yeah. is the 9th through the 12th. Yeah. Great. So if you're in North Carolina, come down and see us there. I won't be there, but Brennan will be, so you can uh -huh. go bug her. Please do. <laughs> I love it. Geek out with Brenda. Yeah. All right, great. Yeah. Uh, we've also got a couple of digital sales going on this week, as per usual. I will let you talk about the first one. All right. The first digital sale is the I Heart Zombies digital sale. I don't personally love zombies because they're not dead, but kind of dead, right? Undead. Is that a zombie band? I, yeah, I don't term. even know. Anyway, um, so we have some titles like Plants for Zombies, Goon, American Gods, Ash and the Army of Darkness, A Shadow on the Grave. Cool. Which is the best. Um, single issues are 99 cents and graphic novels three ninety nine. Woohoo! Real spoofy. Yeah, spoofy. <laughs> I love that term. Uh, we've also, uh, to get in the Halloween spirit, have also got a staff horror digital sale. So it's all of our favorite horror staff picks. Mine was Blackwood by Evan Dorkin uh, with art by Veronica and Andy Fish. It's one of my very favorites. You've probably heard me talk about it on this show. So that one you can get. Um, there's all kinds of other stuff like Hungry Ghosts by Anthony Bourdain and Joel Rose. Uh, Conspiracy of oh, Beasts of Burden, Burden. Which we we will also be talking about today because there's new beasts out so stay tuned for that mm. um, it's also gonna have stranger things uh, along with colder which is another good classic if you love a good gore feature Ooh. Ooh. yeah yeah yes um, I think I already said conspiracy of Ravens yeah. there's also Troy Nixie's vinegar teeth which is a fun kind of Lovecraftian buddy cop comedy with some weird and gross art that I also recommend you feast your eyeballs on. Mm -hmm. um, same as the other digital sale, it's gonna be $3.99 for graphic novels, 99 cents for single issues, and that sale is actually gonna run a little bit past Halloween, um, so we've got that up through November 5th for you. Yeah. All right, should we <laughs> okay. dive in and Let's talk about it. everybody's favorite plumber? Yeah. Yeah. He sure is mine. It's yeah. Mario. Mario! It's Mario. So, this is the Super Mario Brothers Encyclopedia. I, the first 30 years. The first 30 years. He, Mario's not dead. It's just the first 30 years. We didn't kill him. Just we didn't kill Mario. <laughs> so I was the designer on this book, and it was a beast, but it was very fun to work on. Um, it's basically a, it's an encyclopedia of, like, right, the first 30 years, and it has 17 games in it, um, starting from, you know, the first, the first Mario game. Um, going all the way up to Super Mario 3D World, which you know, came out in 2015, and then it uh, has some stuff on Super Mario Maker, which is, you know, the most recent from the time that this book was published in Japan, right? So right. It's, it's made for the 30-year anniversary in Japan. So the localization of the Japanese book that was also published in other countries like Germany, um, much like the Zelda books that we do their localization so it's not just a translation but it is uh, we have to you know re-alphabetize things in the you know English alphabet from the Japanese alphabet um, there's a lot of co more copy in this because kanji to English is like a one to three ratio so mm -hmm. there's a lot more than just you know plugging in the new text it's uh, rearranging stuff on the pages um, making things fit you know so. Dustin, are you showing us some of your favorite things right now? 
Yeah, I'm just flipping through things that I think are yeah. neato. Because I like Tanuki Mario, too. Yeah. Who so, doesn't? Who doesn't? It's a really, really great book. Uh, editors that worked on it are awesome. There's so much research that went into it. And it, it truly is a must-have for any Mario fan. But... Even a, more a tr- exciting. A truer, a truer must-have... A truer mm. must-have. ...would be this limited edition Ooh. deluxe which when you open it do you want to you don't have nails do you um better nails than you probably um so this has there are four different options no okay i can do it no you can do it okay. get your teeth so into you it. talk you talk oh i talk four different okay Whew, wasn't what ready for this is. i can't multitask so this is awesome so it's the mystery mystery box so it's a uh, it's a slip case. When you pull it out, the cover, there's one of four covers. You can get either the red mushroom, the blue mushroom. No. Green. No. The, the, the green mushroom. Yeah. Sorry. Red, green mushroom, yeah. the fire star, or fire the, the fire flower, or the star. See, this is why I was prepared to talk about this. So I'm getting tongue tied. I know. I need to work up. Okay, now, now you, okay. Now I can hold and you can say things. So it's like, you know, it's the question mark box. So when you hit it, you don't know what what's going to come out. That's the whole, you know, thing behind it. Oh! What do we have? And it's sparkly. Yeah. Ooh, yes. And it has beautiful, hol- what do you call that? Holographic? Yeah. Hollow foil. Hollow foil. Um, you know all the fancy I terms. I do. Ooh. Yeah, and then the inside of this, of the slip case is also... If you can see that. Mm-hmm. And then this is also, um, this is embossed. Actually, it's a triple embossed, just FYI, if you're wondering what type of emboss it is. Um, <laughs> just to show some depth. Yeah. So fancy. Yeah, so this is, um, you know, super fun. And if you really love Mario, you should get this one. Super Mario. Because, you know, super fun. keep one in your car, keep one at your desk at work. Keep one in your gym locker. Keep one. Um, <laughs> you never know when you need to bust out a Super Mario yeah, bat. If someone's like, what is the character name on Super Mario Galaxy? I'm like, oh, I'll tell you. Oh, I don't know. I'll tell you. Yeah. So, anyway, that's out yeah. today. Fantastic. Uh, and that is just going to be at local comic shops today. Um, it'll be two weeks before. Or no, it's coordinated, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Okay, great. Available I really, I really know things sold. today, apparently. I threw um, you off. It's my fault. You did throw me off. Thanks for that. <laughs> All right, cool. What's next? Let's talk about Mob Psycho. Ooh. Now, this is from the creator of One Punch Man, so this is pretty dope. So, do you or someone you know uh, need an exorcist who works for cheap? Great. Then Regan's your guy. Uh, but the thing is, he's a fraud. So, this is great. Uh, it's about a guy who has made a career for himself as an exorcist, but is in fact exploiting uh, his apprentice, who is a student who is the actual exorcist. Um, as I said, this is very exciting. It's from the creator of One Punch Man. This is his first series after that smash hit. Um, it's also being developed for a live action series on Netflix. Um, and currently, the dubbed anime is available on Funimation, and if you prefer to watch the anime in Japanese with subtitles, you can watch that on Crunchyroll. And then Volume 1 of the manga is out today. Also in exciting, spoopy news, we have Dave McKean short films, and he is best known for his work with Neil Gaiman and graphic novel Cages, and this is the Blu-ray collection of... Uh, McKean's surreal short films collected in a book about looks behind the scenes. Uh huh. This is really nice. Um, if you're not familiar, all And sh- his movies are crazy. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll share a little clip online in a little bit as here's well. Here's some grapes. They're very nice grapes. Okay. Yeah, Dave McKean is such a good surrealist artist. Um, he's normally done art but he also made these the series of short films so we've collected a book that includes not only his art but also the blu-ray of all of his short films yeah. so that is That's awesome cool. we have also got a new bprd hell on earth volume three hardcover um so in this arc the bprd are fighting to protect the world from the rise of the monstrous Ogdrahem uh as teams hit a blizzard torn russia and the ruins of both chicago and new york city 
Um, so this deluxe hardcover edition is collecting uh, BPRD Hell on Earth volumes 7 through 9. Uh, so basically the volumes 7, 8, and 9 trade paperbacks are collected in this guy. Um, and it has an expanded uh, sketchbook section, as all of these hardcovers do. Um, and it's got plenty of artists, including uh, Lawrence Campbell, uh, Peter Schnezberg, Tyler Crook, and James Heron. Uh, of course, colored by Dave Stewart, and the fantastic cover art is by Lawrence Campbell. Um, all of this arc is co-written by Mike Mignola and John Arcudi. Oh, this is heavy. Okay. You did it. I did it. So this is the Dragon Age Library Edition, Volume 2. Um, it is really pretty. And it collects uh, everything from Mage Killer and Knight Errant series of the comics. And has uh, behind the scenes material. And, you know, let's open it up because this is, it's all really the art cool. art in these is so good. Yeah. I love the interiors and then the Sasha and Tang covers are just incredible too. Yeah. I wish I, let's see. I wish my head was a table of contents, but it's not. <laughs> but it's not. Well, okay. And we're also running, so this is the collection of the last series, and we're running... Ooh, um, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's the, the mm -hmm. last two The last two miniseries were Mage Killer and Knight Errant. Uh, continuing in that vein, we have the single issue series, uh, which is the third series, Dragon Age Deception, coming out right now as well. Yeah. Um, so if you need to get caught up before reading Deception... That's the best way to get those last two arcs. It collects the last two trade paperbacks that we did. A lot of you are aware that I am an Aliens fanatic, and this is where it all started. So this is Aliens, The Essential Comics, Volume 1. Um, so these are the stories that have stood the test of time and kept readers awake at night. Um, and a lot of these are the stories, the alien stories that put Dark Horse on the map uh, way back in the late 80s and early 90s. So this... Uh, this is this first volume basically includes the original uh, Aliens trilogy that we did. So that's going to be Outbreak, Nightmare Asylum, and Earth War, um, in which Hicks and Newt, who you will recognize from the film Aliens, uh, the continuing continuity uh, is different from what happened in Alien 3. <laughs> um, they eventually join forces with Ripley, join forces to battle an infestation of aliens both on Earth and in the wider galaxy. So... Ooh, so exciting. Oh, it's so good. These are yeah. just... Is this like... Oh, oh that's nice, too. Yeah, the oh, paper man. stock is really good on these. She's she's oh. the designer, so she's like, let me touch the paper. Let me touch that. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, nice matte finish on everything. Um, good paper stock. Hopefully that's showing through. Yeah. God, I love it. Yeah, these were fantastic stories. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this for anyone who's an Aliens fan. Um, and if you want a good piece of Dark Horse history, uh, this is definitely something to check out. So these were, um, Outbreak came out in 1988, Nightmare Asylum was 1989, and Earth War was 1990. So this is over 350 pages of xenomorphic terror. Ooh. Speaking of aliens. Oh, there more where that came from. Oh, hey. we have number three of Dust to Dust is out, and it's here, <clears throat> and guess what? It's worth the wait. So this is by Gabriel Hardman, and uh, we have the variant cover and the regular cover, and let's see. Let's see what happens. A boy faces threats and decisions that would reduce a grown man to tears. A terrifying coming-of-age story featuring the most frightening creatures in the galaxy. Yes. So, uh, as many of you are also aware, we haven't stopped publishing Aliens, no, so um, Dust to Dust is continuing. Um, yes, there has been a long break in between issues, but it's because that art is so detailed and Gabriel Hardman is also writing it. He's doing a fantastic job on it. Um, it was actually just on the Nerdist pull list this morning, which is a pretty major site, and they gave it a perfect rating. So, um, this series has been really good. Um, there are two other issues out ahead of this one. Your comic shop should be carrying all of them if you need to get caught up. Oh yeah, show that. Spray. Anybody who's sensitive, there is some blood yeah. and violence in but it's, general. It's just pretend. It's yeah, they're not real. As we promised, there is also new Beasts of Burden out today. So uh, this is Wise Dogs and Eldritch Men number three, in which the Wise Dogs encounter a survivor of the Cotter Farm Massacre, who agrees to lead them to the Witch's Cult Camp high in the mountains, which can only be reached by a treacherous path leading through a 
a series of insidious traps and a host of deadly creatures. So this is, of course, by Evan Dorkin. Um, art is by guest artist Benjamin Dewey, who does an absolutely fantastic job. And we have a variant cover by Tyler Crook, who was the artist on Harrow County. So you may recognize his work from that. Um, here, let me show you some of Ben's interiors because he's just so good. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, I know so people are um, really used to Jill Thompson, but Ben has his own style, but it's also very faithful to the style of Beasts of Burden anyway, so I think he's a really, really good fit in this world. And there will be more coming from Jill Thompson, too. Yeah, Jill will definitely be back. Um, Ben's just here to do um, a guest arc. Okay. Mr. Science Theater 3000. Hey, we know there's some nerds out Number there who want two, that. yes. Um, so, incepted into three different public domain comics by Keegan Forrester's latest invention, the heroes of Mystery Science Theater 3000 struggle to rip themselves free. Uh, Jonah plays second fiddle to 40s heroine Black Cat, and Tom Servo, my favorite, enjoys being a real life boy and Johnny Jason, teen reporter. Something strange is happening to Crow in pages of Horrific. So this is, you know, from the MST3K series, creator Joel Hodgson, and art by Todd Nock, um, and regular cover, variant cover, and man, this is exciting. Yes. So these are great. These are great. Um, so, yeah, I love it. It's so great that the um, creators of the show are involved as the writers. Yeah. So um, that's been doing pretty well, and people seem to be excited yes. for it. So Yay! Uh, we've also got a new issue of Olivia Twist. This is issue number two. This is um, one of our Burger Books titles um, set in 2050 London. Uh, this is a kind of futuristic dystopian twist on the uh, Charles Dickens uh, classic Oliver Twist. Um, in issue number two, the Esters, which is this girl gang that Olivia has gotten uh, kind of raveled up in, uh, they send Olivia on a heist into the vertical city, which is a mile-high tower. It's the last refuge for wealthy Americans who have lost their country. Um, but there's incredible danger waiting for her on all sides. The mysterious killer from her nightmares, machine-augmented men, and the most powerful CEO in the world. Um, here. Uh, this is written by Darren Strauss and Adam Dalva, and it's got arm, uh, art by Emma Viacelli with colors by Lee Luffridge. And the cover artist is Vanessa Del Rey, who is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so Predator Hunters. And there's Predator today. Yeah, I mean, come on, this is a very lucky, lucky Wednesday. So Afghanistan, uh, sorry, Afghanistan. Where is it? Afghanistan. Okay. It's called the Graveyard of Empires, but it may also soon be the Graveyard of the Hunters when they go up against a predator who has honed its skills fighting the jihadi and U.S. forces. We're really good at talking today. Uh, yeah, so good. <laughs> uh, but look at that. We don't need to talk when we can just show you these That's amazing true. interiors. Yeah, this series is fun. Yeah. So, yeah, this is number three. Uh, yeah, your aliens and your predators. Yeah. yeah, and we've got a new horror launch today, too. So this is The Whispering Dark number one. Uh, this is from Christopher Emgard and Thomas Ira. It's about an army pilot as he confronts a supernatural horror in a thriller that's sort of in the tradition of H.P. Lovecraft's At the Mountains of Madness, which is, as you uh, should be aware, the best H.P. Lovecraft. Um, but it's also got a little bit of uh, kind of Coppola's Apocalypse Now vibes to it. So if you want to mash those together, that's kind of what you're getting uh, in The Whispering Dark. So uh, Hannah Vance is our heroine. She believes her faith in God can survive anything, and when her helicopter is shot down behind enemy lines, she will fight and kill on an ever more savage battlefield, desperate for a way home. But on the horizon, an evil awaits for her, and freedom of sort. Um, yeah, I give you some peek at the interiors here. Uh, Thomas Ira is a fantastic artist. Um, he worked on War Stories and Night of the Living Dead Aftermath. Christopher Emgard was the writer on Battlefield 1, and uh, he's a Star Wars writer as well, doing Star Wars Battlefront 2. All right. This is the last comic we have today, and it is Yusagi Yojimbo, The Hidden Number 7. And this is the stunning conclusion of Stan Sakai's hidden arc. Sagi and Inspector Ishida uncover the truth just as the show... I'm sorry, can you say that word? You know this one. The Shogunate. Yeah, when they attack. Trapped by flames and assassins, not only are the pair's lives in danger, but the secret they've just discovered may vanish with them as a raging fire threatens to annihilate the city. 
destroying everything and everyone within it. And let's look at what's in this. Uh, the best black and white line yeah, art so in the brave. biz. That so, sounds a little bit of a fan. Yeah, I am a super fan, yes. He knows all the words that were that I was supposed to read, which is the shogunate is the military shogunate. rule that's running feudal Japan because there's no central government. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. It. You're welcome. Cool. <laughs> are you are you hiding some magnets? I am hiding some oh, magnets. Justin. We weren't totally done. We also have Game of Thrones magnets out today. We've got Daenerys Targaryen and Jon Snow magnets, uh, who also which also comes with the Targaryen and Stark sigils included. Um, these are $9.99 and the newest addition to our Game of Thrones product line. And that is actually everything that is for everything. today. Mm -hmm. We did it. It was a little bit of a struggle. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, again, if you would like to win all these fantastic items, just go ahead and give this video a share and we will let you know if you are the winner by tomorrow. Yeah. All right. We signing off? Yeah. Let's do it. Bye.